Hey, this is Garrett from 3Bug Media, and today I want to talk about the difference between SEO, search engine optimization based content, and conversion based content. Now, this question came about recently when we were doing a content audit for a new client of ours. They have been paying a writer for over a year to create content on a weekly basis, but two things were happening. Number one, it wasn't showing up in Google and it wasn't driving organic traffic. And number two, it wasn't really generating leads for their business. So they wanted to figure out why and if they were basically wasting their time. So long story short, we did our content audit and basically what we found was while the content itself was good, it was high quality writing, it was good content, it lacked focus and it lacked a strategy. Really, you were creating content without an audience in mind and without a goal in mind and that can become very costly because creating content is expensive it is time consuming and if you're not doing it the right way you can be wasting your time and that's what i want to talk about today the difference between seo based content and conversion based content now when we're dealing with seo search engine optimization based content really the goal of it is if somebody's going into google or bing and they're searching you know they're typing in a question we're creating pages that match that question and we're trying to bring them to our website. Now, SEO based content is marketing based content. So if you think of it in a retail standpoint, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring customers into the store. We're doing marketing here. We're not necessarily trying to sell them something. We're not trying to convert them into a customer. All we're trying to do is we're trying to cast a wide net. We're trying to attract people to the website and then hopefully let the website take over and turn them into a customer or a lead or whatever conversion that you're trying to do on your website. Now, like I said, we want to match the content with the query. So if somebody's typing in the best grass seed to use for lawns in Rhode Island, then that literally will be the title of the article and the content to match it. Because if somebody types it in, we want that web page on our website to show up at the top of Google and then they click and then come to that website to read the article. Now, SEO based content typically is longer form content. If you look at the first page of Google search results for almost any query, you'll usually find that the content is usually over a thousand words. So it's usually a longer form content. And the reason for that is the longer the content is, the more keywords you can put in there, the more topics you can put in there, and the more content there is for Google basically to grab on, grapple onto and to figure out what that page is about and to figure out if that is an authoritative page compared to other similar types of pages. So usually when it comes to SEO, the longer the better, as long as you understand what you're trying to do and what your strategy is when creating that content. And lastly, SEO can target all parts of the sales funnel, the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, the bottom of the funnel. And I'm not talking about one piece of content targets all parts of the funnel, but you can create content that's targeting people at the top of the funnel that are just starting to you know, get information about whatever topic that you're writing about. You can get people that are a little bit farther down the line in the middle of the funnel, or you can target people that are at the bottom of the funnel. They're getting ready to make a purchase decision. So an example of that would be writing an article on, should I hire a certified, uh, certified financial advisor or a certified financial planner? So they're getting ready to hire somebody, they wanna know which one, that would be a SEO based article that you might write that's targeting the bottom of the funnel. Now, when we're talking about conversion type of content, when it comes to our agency, when we're creating content, we always want to create content with some sort of action in mind because we don't want to create content just for the sake of creating content. We want to get some results out of it, either get found in Google or help move a potential customer further down the funnel to making a decision to either buy from us or to you know, move to the next stage. But we always want to try to keep people moving along. And this is where conversion type of content work. So when it comes to conversion type of content, we're not necessarily trying to get it to show up in Google. What we're trying to do is whoever's reading it, we want to move them to take action or at least move them further down the sales funnel. Now, like I said, with SEO content, it's more marketing based. With conversion type content, it's more sales based. We're trying to get people to move and take action with this content. Uh, right here, move people to take action. 
Uh, typically with conversion based content, it's a shorter form. We're not creating, you know, a thousand plus word article uh, to try to convince them of something. We're trying to do it a little more shorter, a little more benefit focused, bullet point focused, really get to the point. Because if somebody's thinking about, you know, contacting you or something like that, the last thing you really want to do is have them read a 1500 word article and 30 minutes later, they're mentally exhausted and they're not ready to take the next step. Uh, with conversion-based content, it's more of a sales pitch uh, in the form of a content where, you know, maybe that content's only four or 500 words, but it has a lot of benefits, has a lot of reasons why people might want to move to the next step. And something like that could be, you know, five reasons to hire a certified financial planner. And maybe that's only a three or 400 word article, but it has a lot of key benefit points in there of why you should hire that type of person. And if that's your business, that is moving that person closer to contacting you. Uh, and typically with conversion-based content, you're trying, you're trying to target the bottom of the funnel, people that are getting closer to taking an action, because if it's, like I said, it's conversion type of content. So if you're, you know, you're not going to target somebody at the top of the funnel because they're, they still have a long way to go before they're ready to take the next step, whether that's a purchase or contact you. So typically with conversion-based content, you're targeting more of the bottom of the funnel, people that are getting close to taking action on there. So when it comes to both of these pieces of content, a couple things that you should know, or a couple questions you should ask yourself when you're creating this type of content. Number one is who are you creating this content for? Are you creating it for the search engines, marketing purposes to get people to find that content in Google and bring them to your website? Or are you trying to convert an existing audience? Maybe that's social, social media, maybe that's people on your email list, or just people visiting your website, things like that. Maybe, or maybe an advertisement, maybe you're doing online advertising, Facebook ads, Google AdWords, things like that. Think about what the purpose of that content is and who you're creating it for. And that'll help you determine if you're gonna do that longer form content, keyword based, or if you're gonna do more sales, shorter benefit focused type of content. Number two, what part of the funnel are you targeting? And this one's important because if you're creating content expecting to get leads out of it or get sales out of it, but you're targeting, the topic is targeted, targeting the top of the funnel, people that you know are still a far way far away away from taking action, then you really want to think about where in the funnel are you targeting people? You know, top of the funnel is good if you're just trying to get people on your email list, but if you're trying to get a sale, you need to make sure that you're targeting the bottom of the funnel. And lastly, what action do you want readers to take? Because obviously the goal is whether they, you know, you're bringing people in from SEO based content from Google, or you know, from social media, you have conversion-based content. The goal is to get people to take some sort of action. Now, things you can do with that is pop-ups. You can get people on your email list, you can do pop-ups, you can have sidebars on your blog where you can have calls to action, things like that. And you can also include calls to action directly into the content, either in the middle of the content, the bottom of the content, things like that. But think about what actions do you want people to take? Do you want people to call you? Do you want people to you know, uh, fill out a form? Do you want people to download something? Always think about what actions you want to take. So when you create your content, even if you don't have it in your content, have it ready on your website. Like I said, either in the form of a pop-up, a sidebar, or something included in the content, whatever it is, when you're creating that content, make sure that you have whatever desired action you want people to take that you make sure you include that in your content and that will help move people to take the next step with your business. So that's the difference between SEO based content, conversion based content. Hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. So when you're creating your content going forward, you'll have a better idea of what kind of strategy you want to pursue. Now, if you want to learn more, you can go to threebugmedia.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.